Dr. N. Simon Chekmedian was born in Montevideo, Uruguay, to parents of Armenian origin. He has practiced medical oncology in our Long Beach community since 1986, where he moved with his family after completing hematology and oncology training at the University of Maryland Cancer Center in Baltimore, Maryland. Dr. Chekmedian is a diplomat of the American Board of Internal Medicine and Medical Oncology, a fellow of the American College of Physicians, and a clinical professor of medicine at UCLA. He has cared for an estimated 10,000 patients in his career and spared no effort in order to cure their disease and improve the quality of their lives. He is, above all, a physician who not only cares for, but also cares about his patients. With an equal focus on patient research, his pursuit of new treatments to improve the cure rate and to enhance the quality of life of cancer patients has been passionate and relentless. He has been a clinical investigator in over 300 cancer research studies and has contributed over 150 scientific publications to medical literature. His observations, as reported to the American Association of Cancer Research and published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, led to a new medication to reverse the lack of appetite and weight loss of patients. Dr. T, as he is affectionately known to his patients and his colleagues, has made revolutionary contributions to the world of medicine, including new life-saving therapies that specifically target cancer cells and provide increased efficacy with reduced side effects. These efforts have allowed cancer patients in Long Beach to be among the first in the nation to receive these cutting-edge therapies. Speaking five languages, Dr. T has made over 130 scientific presentations on new cancer treatments throughout the U.S., as well as in over 20 countries abroad. He has developed, chaired, and published the highly acclaimed Symposium Series on Quality of Life in Oncology, held at the St. Mary Medical Center. He has been repeatedly featured in the list of America's top-rated physicians, as well as in the list of Orange County Physicians of Excellence, and in the Guide to America's Top Oncologists by the Consumers Research Council of America. I want to congratulate uh, Dr. Tekmedjian on this honor that he's receiving this evening because he has demonstrated a great deal of success in the way in which he has treated his patients and brought about a comprehensive uh, approach uh, to not only addressing the physical problems that his patients have, but also uh, difficulties that they have in terms of, of uh, how the mind is involved in uh, someone having uh, cancer, as well as the spirit that he brings uh, to his work. And I also want to thank Dr. Tekpejan for uh, having a longer name than mine. Dr. Chekmedian is the teaching head and director of oncology at St. Mary Medical Center. He is also founder and medical director of Pacific Shores Medical Group, headquartered in Long Beach, which is one of the largest oncology practices in the country. He's a great mentor, you know, he's a great colleague, he's a great problem solver. Dr. T is really a great person, I'm not just saying it because I know him well and I like him, but he truly is one of those people who's really good. He's great. Time and again, I have been humbled by the strength, the grace, and the dignity that I have encountered in the patients I serve. In October of 2004, Dr. Chekmedian was honored for his contributions to cancer care and research by the Beckstrand Cancer Foundation at their Diamond and Pearl Ball. A devoted physician, Dr. T hosts annual parties for his patients and their families to share the celebration of their trials and triumphs over cancer. But you know, I think my dad, my dad did actually have a pretty huge influence on, on why we, I think we chose to go into medicine. Uh, and for me personally, one of the primary things was these, the patient parties that he would have were a, a, a way that I got to talk with the patients uh, out kind of outside of the, the clinic or the hospital and and you know we saw the same patients over and over again they're so always so thankful for not just the, you know the medical care and just the type of da doctor that my dad was and it gave us something really to aspire to. Until we went to the patient parties we didn't really realize you know his impact because you know, he was our dad. He came home every day. We saw him every day. It was maybe a more 
casual and informal environment, but then we went to these patient parties where there was a crowd of people in the room um, really admiring and respecting him and that really put it into perspective what a big impact that he has. I'm the second youngest, so I wasn't, do, I wasn't in the office as much as my older brothers uh, uh, when they were younger. So talking to patients and stuff kind of allowed me to get to know my dad better in terms of how he's a doctor and what um, their perspective of him was and that, um, you know, they, they always talk about how wonderful of a, of a man my dad is. And one time I remember um, there we had a, a share look-alike and she was on stage, she was asking for someone to, to volunteer and she picked my dad and had him uh, dress up as Sonny, Sonny Bono. I don't even think he knew who Sonny Bono was. From donning a Sonny Bono wig and performing with a Cher look-alike to sympathetically shaving his head, he is their staunchest ally and most vocal cheerleader on their road to wellness. A devoted family man and exemplary role model for his seven children, he takes great pride in each of their accomplishments. He is never too busy to share words of wisdom or support their successes, such as presenting a bouquet of flowers to his daughter after her personal triumph as the lead in the Nutcracker. Everything that my dad does related to is related to education, Yeah. no matter what. I mean, even at the dinner table, every single time at the dinner table, we had something called the word of the day. And I don't know, I mean, my dad grew up in Uruguay, you know, and, and English is a second language. And he consistently trumped us with some new obscure word of the day that nobody knew the definition of. Like epiphenomenon. And, and, he wouldn't, and he wouldn't tell us the answer until we looked it up in a dictionary. Time was never an issue. Uh, his effort was always there 100%, and he would give us 100% attention. And that's that's you know, something I, I'm, I'm really thankful for. I think everybody else feels the same way. Completing tango lessons, he and his charming wife, Seta, were able to share a special moment of personal celebration at the Beckstrand Foundation Diamond and Pearl Ball. While most of us only aspire to climb mountains, Dr. T sets loftier and sometimes more perilous goals for himself. Perhaps the greatest example of this devotion to his patients occurred this summer, when he committed to participate in a triumphant bucket list jump with a patient named Ken. You know, it used to be easier to satisfy patients. Things have changed, you know, to really get some patient satisfaction. Now I have to go and jump off a plane. But hey, you know, whatever it takes, we'll do. For his stellar career as a world-class scientist, bringing the latest breakthroughs of science to his patients, and for his compassionate career as a caring, loving physician, family man, and colleague, St. Mary Medical Center is proud to bestow its 2009 St. Mary Life Achievement Award to Dr. Simone Chekmadian.